Today we're going to walk through configuring and installing the Embridge module. The Embridge module is a module for Drupal that helps connect uh, the Drupal instance to Intermedia, a digital asset management system. This allows users to upload, to search, uh, and to render all images in the Drupal instance from the dam itself. The first thing I want to show you is the Intermedia build. So just to basically come in here and show you that there are assets within this digital asset management system. Now what we're going to do is configure Drupal with Embridge so that we can access these assets and that we can upload into this digital asset management system. So now I'm going to switch to the uh, Drupal build that we have set up for the Embridge demo. This is a pretty vanilla build uh, as you can see. All right. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and enable the modules. So I'm going to go to the module listing and scroll down until I reach the Embridge section. There it is. All right, so we need to enable a couple of these modules. So um, there's the main module, which obviously has to be enabled, and then there's some sub-modules that we're going to put on. So here's Embridge. That's the, the core module. The next one we want to put on is Embridge CK Editor. That will allow us, uh, that's a plugin for CK Editor, or WYSIWYG um, text input, and that will allow us to add images in line to anywhere that the WYSIWYG uh, CK editor is set up on the field. So let's say the body copy for a basic page. Uh, the next thing that we need is the Embridge field module. That allows us to add a field to a content type, an Embridge field, and we'll show you how to do that in a moment. Uh, and then the other one we want is Embridge metadata. That allows Embridge or, uh, and Drupal to access metadata from the image uh, and pass that information back and forth. So in Drupal, we can update metadata from an image and then send that information to Embridge and, or to Intermedia and have that being stored in the dam itself. And the last one that I will add is the Embridge example. So this is basically going to give us some default settings that's going to connect to the uh, DPCI Intermedia build. So this is just so that you, it's easier so that you can see how it works without having to figure out how to configure it yourself. So I'm going to enable that one as well. Now that I have enabled our modules, what I want to do is go and check our configuration. So to do that, I'm going to go to configuration, Embridge, Embridge settings. All right, we can see here that it, the Embridge example module has been set up has been enabled and that adds configuration to our module to connect to the demo DPCI Intermedia platform. So it says our, our connection is okay. It lets us know that the digital asset management system is up and running. Just to show you, I can go to our connection info and you can see that this is where you enter the, the host name, the port, and the login information. If I scroll down, you'll also notice that this example has set up the uh, a catalog for us. So an Intermedia, uh, you can define catalogs where assets are stored. If I scroll down, you'll see there's fields. This is These are metadata fields, so I'll show you when I upload uh, that I can append data to a field and send that to Intermedia. And then we have conversions. Conversions are image sizes that will be accessible in Drupal. Uh, these images are transformed or converted within the dam itself. They're not converted in Drupal as if like you when you would use a normal uh, image field. So these are all done. The processing is done by the dam itself. We just need to add these into the configuration so that Drupal knows which images it can access. All right, so that is a basic lowdown of the settings. So these are all pre-filled in by the example module. So you can kind of get a base uh, setup and test this without actually having to configure an intermediate system. So now that we know that this is configured, we need to do two things. One, I would like to add a content field to the basic page content type. So I'm going to go to Manage Fields. I'm going to add a new field. So this, we're going to want to add an image field. So I will call this Basic Page Image. And we'll go to our field type. And you'll notice in the list here that we have the intermediate asset as a field type. I'm going to go ahead and click Save to add this. I can save the field settings. And I'll be back to the basic page settings. So if I scroll down, 
You have a couple options that are unique to the enter media asset type. And if I keep going down, the only one I'll have to set right here is my extension. So I'm going to say JPEG, PNG, or let's just say uh, GIF as well. I'll leave all the others as a default and click Save. Now we have a basic page image field that has been added and it's going to use our intermedia asset as the field type. So that means we can search and upload images into intermedia or just search within the intermedia platform itself for images that we want to display within Drupal. The next thing that we want to do is add our WYSIWYG plugin to CK Editor. So to do that, I went to Administration, Configuration, Content Authoring. And these are my two WYSIWYG profiles, Filtered HTML, Full HTML. I'm going to go ahead and add the Embridge plugin to both profiles. So if I click on the CK Editor profile, scroll down to the bottom, I just want to make sure that this Embridge image is enabled. That will give me the plugin button that I want uh, on any fields set up under Filtered HTML. So I just make sure that's enabled, click Save, and I'll do the same thing for the full HTML. Just go down, make sure that's on, and click Save. That will add the button to our WYSIWYG profile. So when we edit text, we can then see the Intermedia button or the Embridge button uh, and be able to search or upload it directly into our um, copy. So now that those are complete, I want to go ahead and add some content. So I will go and add a basic page. I'm just going to call this Embridge Demo Page. I'll scroll down to my body and you'll notice that I have my Add Intermediate Image button here. So this is so that I can add an image within the body copy itself. If I scroll down a little farther, I have my basic page image field that we just added. Uh, this has the ability to upload or search, so this should look basically like a default image field within Drupal. The only addition that you'll see is the ability to search. That's so that we can search Intermedia. So I'm going to First, I'm going to search within the CK Editor plugin so I can add an image from the DAM into my body copy. So I'll click that button. I get a pop-up. I have the ability now to search within here or upload, but I'm just going to search within inline. I'll upload on the, the field itself. And I'm just going to search for nothing so we get all the results. Now you can see here we have a big list of images. All right, so I have two different views here I can use, and this applies to both the CK Editor pop-up here to add an intermedia image, and this also for the uh, field, the image field that we've added. The search results will display the same. So I have a gallery view, and I have a table view. The table view gives me a little bit more information, such as my credit or my caption, or whatever metadata you have configured to show up. So that's what this example is set up as, but you can configure any metadata to show up in this field. So I'll go back to my gallery view. I will pick an image. I want to then also pick a conversion size. So that's the size of the image that will be placed within the body. So I'll choose medium and I'll click OK. Now this image gets added to our copy. The next thing I want to do is scroll down and I'm going to upload an image from the basic page image field. So to do that, I will go ahead and click choose file. And I'm going to actually just upload the Intermedia logo. So I found this on my desktop. I click Open. And then I click Upload. Now, I uploaded the image to the DAM. And what you'll notice is I have the option to add a credit or a caption. And this is metadata that we have configured in Embridge, but that will also be applied to the image within the DAM itself. So I'm going to give it a credit and I'm going to say enter media. I scroll down to the bottom and I click save. Now when my page reloads, you'll notice that I have an inline image and then I also have my basic page image. Now one is within a body copy, so there could be text in here, there could be any information you want. And the other one is my basic page image. So that's an image field, so that's using the intermedia asset field.
Now just to show you that this worked, what I want to do is switch quickly back to the Intermedia build itself, refresh the page and show you that the image we uploaded is in there with the proper metadata. If I go ahead back to this Intermedia instance and I refresh the page, the first asset you'll see is the one that we have just uploaded. And then I also have my caption, which is in here labeled as author, but it's the same metadata field, also appended to my image. For more information about Enbridge, Intermedia, or DPCI services, please contact us at 1-800-818-2905 or by email at sales at databasepublish.com.